Let's take a look how we can customize the email message that is sent for our uh, sign butler. If you go to the uh, Salesforce email templates, so that's the Lightning email templates, you will see on all folders that there is a uh, sign butter emails folder. If there are multiple, like in this cases, then you might have uh, multiple releases installed or updated. So make sure to take the last one. On this uh, email templates, you will see different types of templates. You have signer request, you have signer request downloads, expired, warning, reminder, uh, all of these items, are, all of these emails are there. Uh, obviously, <clears throat> these emails all have to be uh, customized. So if you are in a project and you say, well, I want all the emails of uh, sign butter being customized, well, you have to actually recreate all of the emails uh, and we will show you how to do that right here. So um, next to that, you can also see that uh, depending on the uh, language that you want to use, you can actually use a language. If you skip the language, that's also possible, um, but that's up to you, obviously. So if you want to have a multi-language environment, make sure to add these, uh, to make sure that you have these emails for all the languages that you need. Now, um, when, an e uh, when a sign request is created, you want to actually send out an email to a person saying that the sign request is created, and that's with the uh, email signer request created. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to clone this email message. I have to make sure the name stays the same, but I'm going to add a prefix. And let's say the prefix is here, uh, Academy, Academy Demo underscore so that's my prefix is academy demo and then the underscore uh, make sure it's uh, separated from the uh, the static name of the email message so this you cannot change this name make sure that that is the same and then the other underscore separates it from the language that you want to use so uh, i don't want to select uh, uh, save it in my private email uh, templates i want to indeed go to this folder academy so select this folder i want to relate it to an uh, opportunity so okay that's now all done so here now uh, yeah let's first save it and then continue the process i have now cloned my uh, uh, my email template and now here i can just make uh, some edits let's say we want to uh, change the uh, the header change the color of this button and change some text here. So what you have to do is, um, well, let's look for a nice banner uh, that we want to put here. And I have selected this banner. So let's take a look if I open it in a new tab. Oh, that's the uh, uh, open link, puppy link address, okay. So I'm gonna take this uh, URL of this banner. So copy uh, the, the image address. Uh, okay, let's take a look if that's the banner. Yes, that's the banner. So I wanna use this URL, obviously for your own company, you're gonna have a uh, content delivery network or you might have an image stored in Salesforce. All of the capabilities of a uh, Salesforce email template are there. You can choose your, for yourself how you want to handle that. For now, I'm just gonna take the URL of this banner and then go back to my uh, email message. So here I'm gonna say, I'm gonna replace this banner and I'm gonna do that by indicating that I want a web image and then uh, paste it right here. Again, if you say, well, I don't want a web image, I have an image on my hard disk, you saw those options are there. And then I'm just gonna put here a Salesforce cool banner. Okay, so my banner is already replaced. I can now also make sure the text is there. Uh, this is a custom email. Okay, perfect, so you can change the text make all the changes. And now let's say that you want to change the color of this uh, button. Um, normally you would uh, choose one of the colors that is already there or the colors in your corporate identity, your corporate branding. And for now, I'm gonna pick a color right here. I have a cool color picker tool and I'm gonna say I want this color of this cloud. Now this color is uh, copied over and for the changing of the color of the button, I have to go to source. In the source, you will find that there is this uh, sign butter URL, so that you shouldn't uh, change. 
but in that part, that is two times this uh, message FF. 5F3C, so that's the, the branding color of PDF Butler. Uh, that's our orange. I'm going to replace this with the color that I just copied over or that I got from my marketing team. And I'm going to replace this one over here as well. So two places. Let's go back and you see indeed it has changed. Now this is the nice blue. I have my banner and that's the email that I want. So that's one email done. Okay. Um, so this is uh, something unfortunate that uh, my uh, my plugins uh, add here. So so there are some plugins in my Chrome that uh, 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 alter the, uh, the email message or alter the uh, the text uh, areas. So I'm gonna just now save this. All is done. My uh, my email is now saved. I can just now use this. Obviously. How does P uh, still assign butter know to use this uh, uh, email template? It does not. Huh? Um, just a quick reminder, this is one email done. If you want to do it multiple languages, if you want to do the uh, um, all types of emails, like for instance, the, uh, uh, the download email. So the download email will be sent when uh, everybody has signed. So that's also a very important one to... Uh, uh, to customize, you should also clone this one and customize it. Uh, if you want to use expiration or um, or reminders or anything, all of these ones have to be also um, uh, customized, and you have to clone all of these in your own um, in your own uh, folders. If you want to use FTP uh, or oh, sorry OTP, all of these have to be done as well. So make sure you do all the emails because if you don't do the email. Uh, customize it, it will actually fall back to the email right here. Another important item is you have to make sure that uh, your users have access to these emails. Eh? So that's uh, it's a lightning email. So this is just Salesforce. So you can just go here and say share. And here in the share, you can say, well, I want to share it with uh, with groups or I want to share it with users. Let's say that I want to share it with my uh, friend Andy here. So Andy has few access. That's more than enough. I have manage access. And now if I click the share button, Andy can also use this email template. If you do not share it, the user will not have access. And we from SignButler, we do not have the, uh, the rights to, of course, use this email message to send out. So very important that you do this step of sharing. Um, what I also would always recommend is that you share the uh, the standard uh, emails that come out of the box with sign butter if you made a mistake somewhere um, if there is an email that you have forgotten or a language that's not implemented yet uh, it will always fall back into the standard email uh, messages that email templates that come out of the box so also here make sure to share the standard sign butler uh, emails uh, folder with every person using sign butler so obviously uh, we see a lot of customers creating public groups for that or having already a public group for the sales team and then just sharing it with the public group which is much easier than uh, picking the users uh, one by one okay so that's done so we have now created an email template. We have uh, uh, shared this email template with our uh, users. Um, and now we have to indicate to our system, uh, our sign request, that we want to use this uh, this very cool new sign, uh, signing template. For that, we have to go to our um, email, uh, our sign request template. In the sign request template, you have done all the configuration to indicate how you want to uh, how you want to structure it, how you want to send it out, uh, who's going to be the signers. All of that items have been done, but there is also an item here called email template prefix. In the email template prefix, you have to put the email template prefix that we have uh, chosen here. So make sure this email template prefix is the same for each email template that you are cloning. Yeah. Otherwise, like I said, if it doesn't find a template, it will try to fall back to the uh, out of the box email templates from SignButter. So I copied this. I'm going to go here. I'm going to paste it over here and say next, next, submit. That's it. All is done. Now we have created a custom email template for SignButter. That's the steps to take. If you want to see a quick test, 
we can just go to an uh, um, <clears throat> we can just go to an opportunity. I think I have to select another one. In this setup, I need two signers, so I have selected two signers over here. And let's do a quick test. If I <clears throat> send this one out for signing, then if everything goes okay, uh, we should be able to see the sign request. So let's go to all the sign requests. No, not edit, refresh the list here. And this is the one that I just created. Let's take a look at the email template that was sent out. And yes, it's our new email template that was sent out to this uh, user. So job done.